I'm hot. You can get a rear view mirror if you need I, one. I, I, <laughs> I am soaking wet. All right. I, it is 95 degrees in my house. It's 115 in LA today. I'm right. done. We are live with Rant Dads today. Is What's the date today? 7 6 18. So July 6, 2018. We have not been on the Rant Dads channel putting up videos for almost three weeks because both of my dogs died. So pay homage to Molly and Bailey. And uh, that's right. That's pretty much the long and the short of what I'm going to say about that. But the devastation of losing two dogs that you had in your house for 15 years as bad probably i would assume because it's never happened to me as losing a child uh that's what everyone says so uh we've been gone for a while and that's out of the way uh the mourning period is over uh the remembering begins so that's why we've been absent and now we're back so new format to the show as promised will be we're not going to do the one category two category three four five we're going to pick from those in no specific order and me and my brother are just going to have a conversation for about anywhere between 7 and 15 minutes per episode. And so there's no more, okay, let's go to number two. It was too structured. There's no flow to it. It's not just a regular podcast type talk show type, just bouncing things back and forth, which inhibited the true feeling of rant dads as far as I was concerned. I don't know, Kurt, what do you think? It's better just to have it free flowing. We know what the categories are we like to hit, but what do you think? Well, I was basically blazing through the categories anyway of just, just, we were just doing the, the free flow thing without addressing that. I would bounce back and forth. So yeah, it's better to go free flow. Okay. All uh, right. Cause you know, I'm a frenetic scattered pile of shit when it comes to my thought process. This is always has been and always will be very true. Yes. So I think that we will we'll do here is with today's sh welcome back show is Let's just go and jump right into all of the uh, current ongoings and see where this leads us. However, I will be asking you right now, what time is it? 11.45 in the a.m. And at noon, this show will be done. So at uh, noon, check your watch and say, hey, man, we got to wrap this up because I only want this show to be 15 minutes. I I'm tired of editing 35-minute videos and all that kind of stuff. Got it? Ready? Copy. I have right. a lot of jokes. Well, that's good. Been... We'll, we'll, we'll do all that because here's all I'm going to get my shit out of the way right off the bat. Mm -hmm. Number one, I predicted Alex Rodriguez to the Yankees when he played for the Texas Rangers a year before it happened. And everybody where I used to work thought I was an idiot. Wrong. The next thing I predicted was LeBron James to the Lakers. Everyone thought I was an idiot. Wrong. Uh, 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 you you uh, said that two years ago. You're right. That's why I, I mean, it's easy to predict that three weeks ago, but you've been saying this for quite a while. I like I, to give you more I've credit. been saying LeBron James for two years. You're right. Now, here's yeah. the third and fourth one that's really going to knock your socks off. I predicted for two years Mason Rudolph would be drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers from Oklahoma State. Two years ago, I said this. And that the and the Steelers would draft him as the new and heir apparent Ben Roethlisberger. I, these visions pop in. I say them out loud. My whole family thinks I'm crazy, and it happens. And then people are like, "Oh my God!" It's like forget about the story. How did this? Ha I don't know, and I don't care. You're like that book, The Secret, where you imagine enough bullshit and it actually comes to fruition. The Mason Rudolph thing, you have been saying that. I, I'm here to vouch. Right, and here's the things. one that's really going to blow you away, and my son can vouch for it because he's freaked out. I predicted Ronaldo, <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo, going to Juventus from Real Madrid, which nobody saw coming. And when I said it, my son looked at me and said, he's not going to go play in some farmer's league like Serie A. He's going to go to Manchester United and play in the Premier League back where he came from the first time. And I said, no, he's going to Juventus. Juventus is garbage compared to Manchester. He's going to Juventus. Boom. Where did Cristiano Ronaldo sign yesterday? Juventus. That's four that I can remember. Is this the most blasphemous thing you have ever in your life seen? <laughs> That's Jesus Christ, Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, that is not blasphemous. Well, to some people, including every Italian now that cheers for Juventus and the Pope himself. <laughs> no, I so my, my predictions were sports and technology and entertainment and 
whatever else you want to talk about, but I do only have one more thing and then we can roll with you and call this a day. The people I can do without. This is Pope porn right here. The Pope masturbates to Cristiano Ronaldo jersey on Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Don't cut that out. I give a fuck about the religious people. All right. People I can do without. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna have to dive in. Go. I, I have a few. No, I mean, I'm talking about with the keywords and the whole nine yards about, you know, what we said we would never talk about is politics. We're not going to talk politics like... I think that you should all be voting this way, or I think that you should all be behind this thing. Uh, no, no, no. That's espousing your political beliefs and perpetrating them upon people as if your way is the only right, right way. We won't do that. No. But I will touch on subject matter. That's fine. We can make fun of everybody and everything. It's all up for grabs. Right. 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 I know where this is going. Go. You don't know where it's going, but here, here we go. <laughs> my 19-year-old child said it best, and this is going to be my opening salvo on politics, and then from here on out, it will be under this vein. If you live your life on social media, in the public square, in your car, in your bedroom, in your living room, at work, with your family, at gatherings, with your friends, out on the night, and you identify your human being with an identity wrapped around politics, your life is over already. All you're doing as a carbon-based unit on this earth is existing until you expire with absolutely zero understanding of what this existence is supposed to really be about if you walk around with wearing as a cloak i am this i am this i believe in this i believe in that and that's the only thing anyone can identify with you you have failed i don't know if this means anything to anyone particular that may ever watch our show i doubt it i don't know i just see in the fringes that this is where we've all become is a very polarized, stand apart, scream at each other in the middle, while the big boys at the top watch down on the seven billion ants chaotically attacking each other on subject matter that is being fomented by them for the purpose for you to chew on it and fight over it so that they can go do what they do without you ever knowing about it. And you're playing along with that game you lost. They won. You're done. Well, if I don't have a voice, things will never change. Shut the fuck up. Those things are never going to fucking change the way that you're doing it now. If you want to change the rules, you have to be the king because the king makes the rules and you're not the king. I promise you that. But if one vote, one voice the fuck out of here liberals you have to vote you have to vote you have to vote your vote counts how dare you not vote you're not american until donald trump won the presidency and now all of a sudden voting matters to them it was rigged it's not real your vote didn't count they did this they colluded they did that so when you don't win voting is immaterial FedEx just not ring my doorbell. I've Go been get waiting it. for this very important package. Go get I'll it. be right back. Go get it. Everything that I just said for the last five minutes, my brother sent me a script on email and he told me that I had to read this so that we could start getting people to get excited about our videos. I didn't want to say that. I don't believe it. It, it. it never has been or ever will be the actual way that I feel. I believe you should vote and your voice does count and you do matter. So don't listen to what I said. Just go along with it. But he's very he's like Michael J. Fox from Family Ties. He is very conservative Reaganite. Very, very, very Michael J. Fox. I, Alex P. Keaton is my brother. That's his nickname among circles of people that know him. You see, I have to turn around and look because I don't have a monitor in front of me anymore. I turned my whole thing around so I can't see what he's doing. He's Alex P. Keaton from Family Ties. It's not my fault. I just wanted to get that clear. I will put this in the final edit. He won't know about it till it's too late. I am not 
conservative like him. I'm not liberal. I'm independent. But I read what he told me. It's right here on a sheet of paper. I printed it off of the email he sent me. He said, you have to read this. If you don't, we're not going to be inspiring people to watch. You got to get a little bit controversial. So I did. So that's, that's, my, that's all I have to say about that. So I'm going to sit here and stare at the camera and then just cut the dead space out until he gets back. This is taking too long. This new microphone. Are you back? He was about to leave again and ruin my entire day. I had oh to chase God. him all the way to the street just now. Are you serious? I got it, though. Yeah, but you Chasing know what? Down. But here, here's a good moment right here. You just went to the thing to get the thing to put it into our... Here, watch this. You can go ahead and go to shopknuckleheads.com right here. See, I did the little thing, and then, boom, it'll come up on the screen. All right, so I've said my piece. I've had my little political talk and ranted about all that and just kind of set the tone of how we're really going to roll up in this bad boy. So uh, I'll, I'll put a, 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 put a, put a, put a bow on that. Give me a couple. First of all, what time is it? 11.55. We fucked up because I had to go outside. Four minutes, three minutes, three minutes. So it's really stoppage 11, time. It, it, right. It, 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 right. Right. Ah! We got seven minutes. Hit me with a bow on top. Hit me with some jokes. We're out. Politically, walk outside. Be cool to everybody. If you want to make change, make change with the people you walk next to and actually physically brush up against on a day-to-day -day basis. Are they nice? Do you hold a door open for somebody? If they're gay and they want to get married to each other, do you support that? If you do, cool. Send them a card. If not, no, not give not them a sure. salute and say no, have a good life. Not, not sure gay gaydom or gay gayism gayness. Or gayness is political it's just well it's become such it's i'm thing. just saying it's in general oh, 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 be okay. cool with everybody take your political liberal or uh conservative views and use them for good not expunging hate no. and and spewing hate and saying hateful shit to each other all the time by hating somebody telling them they're stupid, they're idiots and they're wrong. Isn't going to bring them closer to you. Obviously that's it. That's all I got to say. Right. That's be cool, nice man. Just be cool to everybody. Well, we're going to start punching holes in all the political bullshit that's going on out there. And it's only going to stay out there like that, but I'm not trying to be that kind of show, but we will touch on stuff from a, a, a high, a higher view than just the, the, the one-on-one -on -one down and dirty bullshit. The arguing back and forth. I can't stand all the fucking arguing is what I'm saying. I, like I, 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 I can't deal with it. So here's the, and I don't even know half of what the fuck is going on anymore. Cause I'm so busy. I got my head down trying to work. Uh, Cause rant dads is about 4% of what we do for a living, me and you. And so <laughs> we're busy and too busy to worry about what the fuck the president of the United States had for dinner. But these mm -hmm. other people out there, that's their whole life. They wrap themselves around all this shit, hating him or loving him. Either way, it's all disgusting. All, all of it has been this way for years, and I can't stand any of it. Give me some jokes. Well, let's start with some sports. Right. Sami Zayn, the professional wrestler, and Jonathan Lucroy, the catcher for, I think he just got traded. So I don't even know where he is anymore. He Jonathan Lucroy. Pirates, right? Well, he was on the Brewers and then the Oakland A's. I oh, think Oakland A's. I missed that. Completely. Identical twins, same exact. They're the same man. It's my doppelganger of the week. I oh, always have one for you guys. I like the doppelganger of the week. I will slap pictures up right here. Thank you. Drop them in. So that that's my doppelganger of the week. Now the World Cup is going on. Right. We're missing. I don't give a right flying. Now. I know. I'm, we're gonna watch it later. I, I, LeBron James came to the Lakers. That's the end of the story. No need to report any further. I'm done with that shit. The greatest fucking event on planet Earth is happening at the world, the soccer. Nobody out here is I turn on the radio and it's five straight hours because that's how long it takes you to go 20 miles in L.A. of LeBron James talk. It, right. It's maddening. I'm a soccer guy. I love soccer. I have Ronaldo right. Jesus. I'm just saying that, please, world, excuse us for being so non-cultured when it comes to sports. Uh, now, the, the Neymar rolls around 150 times and ruins my argument that well, uh, right, and I saw a thing today where they where they they had a little uh, video, and if I can find it, I'll I'll link it. It's these like kids at soccer practice, and they're dribbling their balls, and then the coach blows a whistle and says Neymar, and they all fall to the ground, holding their ankles, writhing in pain. It is hilarious. Uh, oh my uh, god! It, 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 the, 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 me and look, the fake 
bullshit that's been going on in soccer is tainting, tainting the game. Now, when I played, if he did that on the field while I was on there, I would have walked over, crushed his fucking ankle with my studs, gave him something to roll about, took my red card, and we would have won the game. Aggressive. Now, the Panamanian goalkeeper, the Panamanian goalkeeper came out and was wearing New Balance gloves and cleats. Ooh. Now, he must have stopped at Walmart on the way to the fucking game because Ooh. no professional should be wearing that <laughs> janky <laughs> shit on a soccer field. New like Balance, your son said. Right, right. New Balance has never been a part of the soccer world for a no. reason. At minimum, you go Umbro, Lotto, some shit that's on sale from like Overstock.com. You don't go New Balance. No. And I'll give credit to Drew. Your son said he might as well have been wearing fucking Skechers. Oh, God. <laughs> that's a great joke if you have any idea of what uh, soccer's all about. Uh, Guys, I want to fight. Oh, ooh, I... New segment, Let, a, a little stronger than people I can do without. Because oh, I, like I saw this. this. I like this. Where's this headed? Give it to me. I don't know why I saw this, and I, I get every time don't I don't explain this man, why the fuck you're at this moment. Just give me the moment. Marky Mark Wahlberg is getting the shit kicked out of him. <laughs> if I'm ever within five feet of him, <laughs> I hate that guy. He is a smug pussy. He is not a good actor. He's not tough. His hands, I promise you, are as soft as a fucking the inside of a baby oil oh jar. My God. He is a pussy. I'm sick of him. Oh, uh, what did he do? Nothing. Oh, and that's that. He did. You that's, know, oh, that's, whoa, 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 whoa. Got to be careful about defamation uh, lawsuits, but I refer people to go to Johnny Bravo's videos. I will put a link down here below on his film series about the is it balco or no not balco uh anyway it's all tied into that whole ct fletcher mike rashid the ba the bodybuilder guys now don't say a bad word about uh mike rashid and ct fletcher those cats are legit ct fletcher is a beautiful no, I, yeah, we, we don't talk bad about ct fletcher I, in the well, why would I? if you do you're an asshole and that's a guy I'd like to fight is the guy who says some shit about C.T. Fletcher, motherfucker. So, but the, the, the pharmacy that was above one of the gyms that was in Florida that C.T. leased his name rights to, but C.T. had nothing to do with this at all. Anyway, long story short, you'll check it out. Johnny Bravo did a video tracing all of these uh, substance abuse guys. It includes uh, allegedly Roman Reigns, mm -hmm. Mark Wahlberg, Josh mm -hmm. Dumal. And several mm -hmm. others. So the, I can understand why the actors were taking it because they want to get buffed up real quick for a role or something like that. Marky Mark was whatever. Wahlberg was on the street being interviewed. He's like, uh, he's being interviewed. He's not saying anything. And no one's saying anything about all this. And it's kind of died way down from when it was really hot and heavy. But the guy that was doing the distribution of stuff is already in jail in New York. Mm -hmm. But but anyway, long story short. And to my my answer about that is. It's not about the fact that if he did that shit, because I'm not against that stuff. I'm not against yeah. it at all. Fuck. If you want to put that shit in your body, matter of fact, taking testosterone and stuff like that is smart to do. I, God knows at, I, need, I need some. The Nelson Cruz shot steroids through his eyeballs. He got in trouble for it, and he got rewarded with a $200 million contract. Yeah, we're not going to go through the... Yeah, we're not going to go through the meritocracy of, uh, about, about how this country castigates the people that do that kind of stuff, but why? If they want to you know, take hormones or steroids or whatever they do to enhance themselves, if it's part of the rules and you break them, you're breaking the rules, you're in trouble. But if you're a private actor, I mean, Marky Mark is not competing for anything and outdoing anybody. He's just doing it for his own aesthetics for a movie role. So I don't have a problem with that. So I'm not quite sure why you have a problem with Mark Wahlberg, motherfucker, because he hasn't done anything to you. He's a smarmy just his face, his little... He's got that he's Boston. Old. He's from Boston. He's got that Boston... He's yeah, pop, he's muscular, pop, gosh, whatever, whatever, you know, but he talks too soft. He talks too goddamn soft. Now, give me your next guy you'd like to fight. That's it. That's all I have for today. Okay, because I don't want to fight anybody, and I, I don't want to get hurt. I'm I'm not strong. I, one, <laughs> if you're fishing for compliments. I am not fishing for compliments. I'm almost, fi I'm pushing 50. Yeah, but you're also if, pushing 275, and you're organized, and I've seen you go, and it's not a, it's not pretty. Yeah, yeah we I'm won't talk about retired. that today. Huh? All right, good. Oh. I hope you can never get pulled out of retirement for the sake of the other guy.
I was watching ESPN three at two a.m. and we are running out of sports, my brother. They were showing pro beach hockey. What? Is that a thing? I don't know. I wrote what it is- down when I was, I wrote it down on a cocktail napkin, so it must be. Oh my the M- god! MGM Grand. Time time hack time hack time hack. Twelve oh four. Okay, we have one minute. Wrap this bitch up. We're done. You you and I come from a very rough neighborhood. When we were kids, it was exciting to put our hands in the wet cement. One time we put our hands in there and felt another hand. Ooh. That's a joke. <laughs> now, this joke I wrote in about 1996 when marijuana was illegal. It's, it's all over the place and it's legal now. I lived in Vegas at the time. Right. And so, and yeah, I was working at, a, this was in, it was, it was in 1998 because the date's on the back. Of October. So marijuana is illegal at the time, but prostitution is not. So I'm just going to read my joke. Right. Before you get to your joke, just so you know, I'm using a dynamic microphone now and you have to actually, you actually have to stick your mouth right on the foam thing to talk into it, to get it to really resonate really well. Because if I lean back like this, when I do the processing, you're going to see that this is not that loud. It is really weird for me to sit here hunched over the microphone like this and go, yeah, yeah, but I can't move around. But then if you, just to let you know, that's what's going on. That's why you're bobbing the knob over there, huh? Corp. Joke. Nevada has some crazy laws. There's parts of this state where prostitution's legal, but if you get caught with a shred of marijuana in your pocket, it's a felony. So if you get caught with a joint in your mouth, it better have two balls attached to it. (laughs) (laughs) I love that joke, but the fucking uh, laws changed, so I can't use it anymore. Oh! Because uh, marijuana is legal now. <laughs> That's the best one you've done so far. I like that one. That was, I could see it coming towards the end. Did you? Towards the end. And then there's the. That was the, funny. The, and then I'll end you with a disgusting joke. Mm. But cute and potentially a true story. Mm. 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 Guy is in an elevator. Mm. He's been unlucky in love his whole life. He's in his mid fifties. He's had it. He's done. He wants, he loves women. He's beautiful woman gets on the elevator with a short skirt and high heels. He's really enjoying this view and she's beautiful. And it's kind of sultry. And he's like, fuck, I'm fucking, I'm going for it. I know this world has changed. I'm just going to ask her. And he just says, ma'am, can I smell your pussy? And she says, no, that's probably my feet. (laughs) <laughs> oh, God. send all your letters to don no 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 no, no 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 oh. <laughs> new sticker give me some you show and that? tell give me give me you get this do your Remember, do you get the sticker? Do you understand? Do you this? want to know what's funny? Is I can't see anything that you're doing, you dumb asshole, because I told you <laughs> the monitors are behind me. So I'm looking into the camera lens, and you're like, sticker, Pope Cristiano, whatever. I'm like, yeah, yeah. You're an idiot. Hurry up. Well, who the f- who is the idiot for setting his fucking monitors up behind him? I am about, I'm ch- I'm updating and upgrading. Just give me time. Eventually, I'll have a monitor right there that I'm looking Burr. at you, looking in the lens. You're looking at me. It all works. This is now a lot better. I'm hot. You can get a rear view mirror if you need I, one. I, I, <laughs> I am soaking wet. All right. I, it is 95 degrees in my house. It's 115 in LA today. I'm right, done. Right, 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 right. This is over. Thank you for... Two things. Your jokes today were really good. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. And the other thing is the fact that you introduced a new segment. People I'd like to fight. That is money. I did not see that coming. You surprised me with that one. That's. Are you done? I'm a pussy. Are you done with Sean? Uh, Are you? Yeah, there's a new sticker. There's a new sticker on the store. NYUK to the power of three. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Very funny. Let's let's let's. let's And and if you, I know it's 120 degrees here, but when it gets cold, don't forget to get your rant dad sweatshirt. Shopknuckleheads.com. Boom. Or or your sunshade for your car. That's what I just ran downstairs and got while we were doing the show. We'll we'll be showing some more of that pretty soon. Now, links to everything will be in the description below. Also. If you ever want to have any Three Stooges gear, which helps us out a lot because it's our livelihood and it's the only thing we have really going for us, 
in our life is we really love what we do a la the Three Stooges store, the official Three Stooges store that me and my brother operate uh, as a whole family. My family, his family, it's all family. The folks, of course, that run the corporate headquarters is all family and f- good workers from the outside and in and whatever you want to call it. It's a great situation. So please go over to shopknuckleheads.com. You can get there right here. Now, if you want to subscribe to our channel, go ahead and hit subscribe button and you can go ahead and see the little thing. I want to do a new thing coming in. So go ahead and go to, did you see my fingers there? I can't see the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Your fingers. Oh, okay. They're, so we're going to smaller than the rest here, but they are abnormally small, but yeah. right, everything is very weird between me and you anomalies all over the place. So here we go. You can go ahead and subscribe to our channel. You can go ahead and check us out on Facebook. You can go ahead and check us out on Instagram. You can go ahead and head uh, check out our news feed over at Twitter. That's all I have for today. Check back soon. Bye. (laughs) It's 900 fucking degrees in here. I'm turning all this shit off. I'll edit tonight at midnight. I'm going to go watch Belgium. Me too. Uh, anything else? That's it, dude. Appreciate oh, it. Love by it. the way, just just so you know, when the video comes out, you might be interested because when you went downstairs to do your little package thing, there's a little uh, surprise for you that you did not know I did. Oh shit, dude! I can't Have wait. Have a nice day. I'll talk you to you later. All right, bud. All right, bye. <laughs> uh...